is morning folks morning garth morning paul yeah both of us both of us decided we'd really like to go back to sleep but <laughs> it's not going to happen is it actually we've rung ourselves off we're both wearing light blue shirts this morning I, i'm glad to know that we're color coordinated <laughs> absolutely yes <laughs> It's easy with Francis because he always wears black. So it's just really easy. <laughs> so no, no choice to be had. Um, good. Um, this morning, um, we're breaking from the pattern of readings that we have been having and uh, we're remembering Joseph, Joseph of Nazareth this morning. Um, Garth and I were just discussing the conundrums of you go with the father of Jesus, then you go, well, no, not the father of Jesus. And um, so disappearing in down a uh, nomenclature uh, rabbit hole. But we know who we're talking about, Joseph, who uh, the carpenter, the the one who was Jesus' earthly father and guardian. So we remember him today. Um, our readings are going to be, we're going to use Psalm uh, 25. Uh, and we're going to read from Matthew 13. Um, if uh, you want to read the Old Testament, that's Isaiah 11, 1 to 10. Good on this beautiful, um, I think, is it officially spring today? Or is I that tomorrow? It is. It's, it's close, isn't it? Tomorrow, one of the, yeah. So, but it's a very spring-like day if I gaze out of the window. So let us rejoice in that, the, the new beginnings uh, and the joy of that. Uh, so much needed in the world at the moment. So, O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, Lord God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame, but let the treacherous be shamed and frustrated. Make me to know your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you have I hoped all the day long. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions, but think on me in your goodness, O Lord, according to your steadfast love. Gracious, gracious and upright is the Lord. Therefore shall he teach sinners in the way. He will guide the humble in doing right and teach his way to the lowly. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, be merciful to my sin, for it is great. Who are those who fear the Lord? Them will he teach in the way that they should choose. Their souls shall dwell at ease and their offspring shall inherit the land. The hidden purpose of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking to the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am alone and brought very low. The sorrows of my heart have increased. Oh, bring me out of my distress. Look upon my adversity and misery and forgive me all my sin. Look upon my enemies, for they are many, 
and they bear a violent hatred against me. But keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for my hope has been in you. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. Our reading this morning is from Matthew 18. Uh, sorry, Matthew chapter 13, verses 54 to 58. He came to his hometown and began to teach the people in their synagogue, so that they were astounded and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these deeds of power? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And are not his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And are not all his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honor except in their own country and in their own house. And he did not do many deeds of power there because of their unbelief. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O oh my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up my soul. O oh my God, in you I trust. Behold the faithful and wise servant, whom the master placed over his household. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all the taters, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Behold the faithful and wise servant, whom the master placed over his household. Hmm. Other places in the gospel where those words, a prophet is without honour, except in their own country and in their own house, and he could not deed, do many deeds of power there, many deeds of power there, because of their unbelief. Elsewhere where that sentiment is expressed, Jesus still heals, Jesus still transforms lives. Um, so even in places where it is a struggle for, for us to accept the power the uh, uh, the amazing miracle of god with us god is still able to move so lord we pray that we may turn from unbelief to belief that mm -hmm. we may turn from doubt to faith that your power may be released in the world bringing greater transformation more change more healing. O oh Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. 
And Father, in a, in a day and age when there seems to be such a preoccupation with the grabbing of power, as we are seeing in the battle between Russia and the Ukraine, and we see in countless countries across the face of our globe, every day new news stories bring about various agreements and treaties and all of it for in a bid to be able to hold on to power. Lord, we, we thank you for the example of Jesus' own life and how he used the authority and the power that he had. We thank you that he came to bring us life and to give us life abundantly. And that as we begin to live within the abundance of that life that he came to bring us, that we may, might recognize more and more in our own lives that authority, that power by which he does that which only he can do. And help us, Lord, to be able to humble ourselves before you and to relinquish hold of our lives so that under your mighty hand, we might be able to continue to see the work of the Holy Spirit, the work of Christ himself in our lives, in our ministries, and in the places that you've called each one of us to. That we might see the kingdom of God. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. That draws us to uh, the prayer that we have for uh, our diocese today. And Lord God, we thank you for all the places we can find you at work in our communities here in Redditch and beyond. Lord, we pray that you will help us, that you came to transform the world. Help us to see our role within that here. And help us, as we've prayed, not to be a people who grasp after power, but a people who are called to serve. Called to serve those around us, called to serve you. So Lord, pour out your blessing upon your church. Pour out your blessing upon your people. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Mm. Father, we, as we pray about the pouring out of your blessing, your mercy, your power, we pray for those on the Alpha Away Day today, Lord. Mm. And we pray that, Father, that it would speak to the hearts and the minds of all those who are part of the Away Day. Lord, I pray that freed from the distractions of all that is around they might be able to, Lord, hear you speaking to them and calling out to them. And just like Peter and James and John in a bustling harbor, Matthew in a busy tax office, may they hear those, vo those words that come, come, follow me. And that, Lord, that they might be able to come and follow you. And as they come, draw closer to you this day, that, Lord, you would reveal yourself to them through the teaching, through the fellowships, through the prayer. May they see you. Open the eyes of their heart, Lord, that they might see you. Reach out to the longing heart. Reach out to the thirsty heart. Reach out to the soul that desires to know you more. And I pray for the team members that are 
there to assist and pray and help that, Lord, you would minister to them too through this day. Father, we look for the seeds of the kingdom, for the shoots that grow out of those seeds that will grow into mighty trees of righteousness, oaks of righteousness. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. In all of that, as we will today, we pray, come Holy Spirit. Come empower your church. Empower us as your disciples. Touch the hearts, minds of those who reach out to you, who say yes to you. May we have head, heart and spirit encounter with you this day. Mm. Come Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Lord, I'm conscious of all of those who are seeking you, that whether they are doing that even, they're seeking something without knowing. Lord, help us to be as Paul was. Um, that's able to point to to what the unknown the temple to the unknown god pointed towards help us to point to you lord for those um, known to us who are uh, exploring um, moving towards confirmational baptism either as as adults or as teenagers or or or, or thereabouts and uh, or, or even as families with infants lord we pray that you will draw people to you that in the preparation that we do we will simply open the door to you lord help us to to be humble as we do that but help us to have a confidence in who you are that you may do your work with your people and in that i give thanks for all who lead who serve in their leadership. For ministers of all sorts of different types, be that ordained ministers, be that those who, who serve in their spare time, for those who um, serve part-time, for those who serve oh. in lay capacities, who, who serve through what they do in the workplace or what they do in all of those places where they connect with the world. Will give us a richness of leadership and serving, and that we can work together in that, not at odds with each other, but in unity with you. Our Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those who are preparing for um, confirmation and baptism at this time. We pray that, Lord, in this time of preparation, as they search their hearts and their lives, and here having heard the call to come follow you, that, Lord, as they think about the implications of what that means, as they stand up and make that declaration of their faith before you. I pray that, Father, by your spirit, you will do the work that you have promised of regeneration, of sanctification, of bringing about the image of Christ and restoring it in their lives. Father, the, the confirmation and the baptism services are more than just the bishop or the priest laying on their hands. It is a public display representing the cry of our hearts for the Holy Spirit to touch those lives. For the Holy Spirit to come and empower them in their witness and their testimony to give them the freedom 
and to give them the power to grow as your children. We pray for those, Lord, who will be confirmed on Easter Eve in the cathedral. Wherever they are, Lord, I pray that you would prepare them. That on that day there will be this great testimony. A joining together in celebration of the work of your spirit in their lives. And we pray for that ministry of discipling that takes place day to day in our churches, in our parishes, one-to-one -one in group sessions. That discipling that enables us to grow. That enables us to be generous as the followers of God with, with the grace and the gifts that God has given us. that intentional discipleship that day by day means making the decision to take up our cross and follow you. Father, would you teach your disciples, would you give them confidence and strength? Would you give them with the same authority you did on that mountaintop. Give them the commission to go and be disciples, to be witnesses, to be evangelists, to be ministers of the sacred things of God in the places that you've called all of us to be. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Our prayer. in that power and in confidence in what you can do lord we pray for the world around us for uh, friends and neighbors and family around us that they may know you're transforming your healing your peace pray that especially over ukraine mm. that the people of ukraine may know your peace your protection, your healing. For the war-torn areas of our world, we pray for your protection over the, the vulnerable and the weak. As we think of the nations of the world, we think of the Diocese of Kita Kanto in the Nippon Shei Ko Kai. Lord, bless them this day in that diocese. In a place culturally socially very different to to where we live mm. and lord we do pray for for your healing to spill out into the world for your church to be uh, a conduit of your healing and not only in our churches but in the world as we think of joseph today known known most as your guardian yes but also known most as simply by his vocation in as in the world as, as a carpenter lord pray that for all who live out their their calling in life in the workplace in a craft in a trade lord may you bless them this day help us all to follow you in the places the vocations, the callings that you have for us. Amen. Amen. God, Amen. our Father, God, our Father, who from the family of your servant David raised up Joseph the carpenter to be the guardian of your incarnate son and husband of the Blessed Virgin Mary, give us grace to follow him in faithful obedience of your commands, of your commands, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And so trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done 
on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us his compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. Thank you for those who joined us this morning and those to you who join us later in the day. Uh, thank you for, for using uh, this resource as a, as a means of engaging with God. And we pray that uh, you will be able to find more ways to do that and, uh, and perhaps join with us at the weekend services at Tipsley and in uh, the Holy Trinity team, services across Redditch and Bromsgrove. Uh, there's invariably a church not far from where you are. Um, but, uh, and if that church doesn't fit you, there are always, there is an infinite, virtually infinite variety of ways in which we approach and worship God. Uh, don't be put off if, if, if you find one and go, that's not for me. There will be a place, a home for you. So do be blessed. Thank you, Garth, for joining us this morning. Uh, a pleasure, as always, Paul. It's good yeah. to be with you. And um, yeah, and I do preface, we have clergy joined to, join together in the week. We have chapter this week. Um, and so we pray that that would be a, a fruitful gathering. And um, yeah, as we seek to serve together and in the places that we are, we pray that God will bless his work. So have a great day. Enjoy. Likewise. Hope things go well for you, Garth. And you too, Paul. We're praying okay. for you all. Thank you. See, see folk anon. See you later. Bye.